Hey guys, Yami here, and I'm bringing you my first video of my how-to series. How to get better at commentating. Now, I know I'm not the best commentator in the world, but I do have a pretty, pretty high uh, like-to-dislike ratio on YouTube. So I gotta be doing something right. I got 10 tips for you guys, but before I begin, let me just say something about the gameplay. Uh, I'm using a few different guns here. Sniper, I think I pick up a stoner, FAMAS, uh, whatever. You know, it's just, you know, a gameplay. It's good gameplay and with a dump, bunch of different guns. Uh, but here you go. Tip number one. If you find yourself struggling, talking smoothly and consistently for the duration of your game prior to recording your commentary, make up a list of a few to several filler ideas that can help transition you from topic to topic. Now keep in mind that uh, commentating is, in a way, a lot like public speaking or stand-up com comedy, uh, depending on how you uh, want to do your commentaries in your videos. Uh, and, in, and in both public speaking and stand-up, it's important to, you know, not write down and read straight off a piece of paper exactly what you want to say. It often will sound uh, pretty poor. Uh, for the most part, uh, some people can pull that off pretty well. But instead, just have a bulleted list of ideas next to you somewhere that will spark your engine and ease your brain farts if you cannot think of anything for the life of you. Uh, this will save down in time of recording commentary. Uh, if you find yourself having to restart over and over again, just have a bulleted list. You go brain dead, boom, second. Yeah, pull one of your ideas down, there you go. You don't have to restart your commentary because uh, Pepto-Bismol will not cure these kind of brain farts. Tip number two, keep in mind that in order to get good at something, or get better at least, not saying that you guys aren't good at it, but to get better, you have to practice. Now, a famous quote of mine from a math teacher that I used to have used to drill this in my head, and it's called P to the sixth. I believe it derives from the military, and it's perfect practice prevents piss poor performance. All right, keep that in mind, guys, and just don't give up. There's always space in the YouTube community, so if you're struggling, keep trying, and you'll get the hang of it. Tip number three, have some patience. Uh, all things take time and good things come to those who wait. This community is so massive right now and it will take time to grow your sub base and gain views. The chance of going viral is very, very slim. So in terms of YouTube, uh, patience is a virtue, a huge one. Uh, tip number four, be relevant, uh, but only be relevant to an extent. It's important to not be too jumpy in your videos, uh, in your commentary, although you shouldn't focus on one thing for too long unless it's a topic of high demands or comic substance. Uh, most viewers on YouTube are teens and, um, and or adolescents, and let's face it, uh, we do not have the biggest attention spans in the world, so vary it up, uh, but be relevant. Uh, makes sense, but not too much of it. You'll get the hang of it, guys. Trust me. Tip number five. Stray away from too many inside jokes. That is, unless you're only trying to appeal to those who are in the inside. But if you're not, people are likely to avoid a video that they cannot connect to in some way, shape, or form. Tip number six. Try not to be too biased. But stay true to yourself throughout your journey on YouTube. Chances are slim to tr attract anything but trolls if you're too biased about anything. Uh, but uh, now don't get me wrong, if you believe in something, believe in it with every single thing you have. Uh, just keep in mind that everyone has different views. And the more you welcome and accept others, the more likely you are to keep a steady crowd that will continue to grow. Uh, tip number seven, and this one's actually kind of important. This one doesn't relate to everyone, but gameplay isn't everything. If your commentary is entertaining enough, most people will stay just to hear what you have to say. Uh, it's easy to watch something mediocre, but it is absolute freaking torture to listen to something mediocre. For example, Ken Burton. Now, he doesn't get the most insane gameplay. Uh, actually, he doesn't even get much of gameplay at all, but his presence is positive and his commentary is enjoyable. Now, he's a premier director for Machinima Respawn and has a very, very loyal fan base. That's really saying something. Tip number eight. This one's pretty basic. Don't be a freaking wiener. And by wiener, I mean don't be a dick. Don't act entitled to subscribers in their time because you're absolutely not. Only Chuck Norris is. Uh, this is self-explanatory, but it needs to be said. If you're a troll, you will be trolled by trolls. Uh, even the nice lawn gnomes will troll you if you act like a fucking wiener. Uh, think before you speak, because chances are you're not doing live commentary. And if you are, this part of the video really doesn't apply to you as much anyway. Tip number nine, uh, try to add something in your commentary that involves your viewers and engages them to be an active viewer. Do this 
uh, in many ways. Uh, you can ask them questions or pose challenges to them in their gameplays and have them get back to you on it. By connecting with your viewers, they are more likely to feel fellowship or friendship to you by liking you as a person, which can drastically boost your channel's success over time. The more personable you are, the better chance your viewers will act like they care about you and your channel. I apologize if you guys hear that little dog in the background. I will be pulling out my shotgun and blowing it away in a few moments. Uh, tip number 10. And now, to me, this is amongst, if not the most important one of the tips that I have to, you know, give to you guys today. And it's a simple fact that you don't have to do a single thing that I've listed. Uh, nowadays, the YouTube gaming com community is so vast and large that everything that can be said or done has pretty much been done a thousand times over, except for one simple thing, and that's just to be you guys. You're the best at being you, so show us all what you have to offer. If you get lost, use my set of tips, and you'll hop back on track in no time. Now, chances are, sooner or later, if you're good at what you do, and you love it, people will notice. You will be noticed, so hang in there, guys. Have some faith. The rest will take care of itself. But I hope you enjoyed this tips video for you, or I made for you guys. This gameplay will cut off shortly because of a host migration, and that's all the theater mode gave me, so I'm sorry to tease your balls, but I am out of here.